On the first day of Christmas, something made by me, a fairy for the Christmas tree. Okay, so in the kit we have, for the Christmas fairy tree topper, uh, various colours of felt, light blue, turquoise green, um, like a pale skin colour and a white fabric with a little star, ribbon and various coloured threads and a pipe clean. Here are the templates, so you print them, download them from Molly Makes magazine and cut them all out individually. So for the hair we're going to use the light blue felt and we're just going to pin that on and then speed cut around it. Next is the face and we're going to use this um, light sandy coloured and cut out. Next we're using the one of the skirt pieces and the star in also in light blue felt as seen in the middle part of the picture. So cut those out. Don't forget to cut the second one out and this will be the back. Sticking with the blue, we're going to now cut out the back of the hair also. Moving on to the white shape, this is the top of the dress and one of the stars. Next we're going to use the lovely green colour to do the bottom part of the dress and two of the stars. You can see one in the hair and one in the middle of the dress. Also in this kit is a piece of card and that's what keeps it all together. You need to just trace around it and then cut it all around and this will help the fairy stand up. So first positioning the hair on top of the face, we are going to use a running stitch. I used a running stitch, it does use a whip stitch but I prefer a running stitch, all around the hairline to secure. Each strand comes with uh, each skein, sorry, or skein comes with six strands. I like to separate two strands at a time um, to use to stitch with. So you'll see there are six. Just try and separate two and pull down. This doesn't always end well. Mine got knotted up quite a lot and I ended up wasting quite a bit. Once on the needle, I like to double the thread over and um, make sure all the threads at the bottom are together and I'm going to do a ninja knot so you have your needle facing the opposite way to the end of your thread like so hold on to the top of the needle and wrap around the point three times hold on to all the threads and then pull in a downward motion and there should be a knot on the end known as the ninja knot. Then stitch around as you wish. I'm using a straight stitch here. Um, I find it the quickest one to do. I do like blanket stitch, but it takes up more thread, I find, than a regular straight stitch. I find I can control this one better. Next, we're just going to trace the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. And I'm just using a regular pen to do this. Then I'm going to start by stitching the mouth in the red thread that is provided. Next we're going to do the eyes, starting with the eyebrows, and then we'll work our way around the, around the eyes and then the eyelashes. So that is next. 
I'm just starting with the eyelashes at the side and then we'll do around the outline and then fill in with a satin stitch. Next, we're going to draw in the little details for the gold thread in the hair that surrounds the star. With the gold thread, continue stitching all the parts that you've just drawn. This thread is very tricky to use. It snaps and gets stuck quite a lot and it's really hard to thread onto the needle too. Actually the needle provided wasn't big enough to fit all four strands of the thread in so I had to separate them which wasn't a great idea because they all got stuck together and snapped and wasted quite a lot. Luckily it all worked out well and it actually looks quite alright. Obviously we need to put the back of the hair on and just match that up, make sure it's the right shape and then we're going to just do a running stitch all the way around the edge to finish ready, leaving a gap for stuffing. Not sure why this part of the video was pale. So now you're left with a gap ready for stuffing later. With the felt arms we're going to fold them lengthways and starting at the curved edge stitch around one long side and um, leave the straight edge open. Um, in here you can see I actually stitched at the start so it's a bit wrong but anyway I got them both done. Next, take the pipe cleaner, put one end through one part of the arm and it was a bit tricky and then the other end goes in the other arm. Okay, on to the skirt. So we're just going to layer up the pieces, see how it looks. Um, there are smooth edges here but um, what I saw on Molly Makes um, cover, they have scalloped edges. So what I'm going to do is use pinking shears because I don't have a scalloped edge pair of scissors and just make the little zigzags around the edge, it looks much prettier. Next I'm just going to stitch between the zigzag parts. Uh, so it's kind of like a whip stitch but yeah it is a whip stitch and we're going around the zigzag edges and this is how it looks when it's finished. After that we are going to draw on our little template for our next set of gold thread. For some reason I didn't have a video of me doing this but here it is finished and I've just laid on the stars and they are the next to just stitch on. Now to the little star that she's holding, we're just going to use the gold thread still and do some little twinkles on each of the corners. Next we'll be stitching on those little eyebrows, eyes, little nose and mouth. regular straight stitch here. And onto the mouth please, uh, also with a straight stitch with the red thread. 
Once complete, stitch the back of the star on and leave a gap for stuffing. Next we're going to stuff the head. So push a little bit in at a time and push it all into the corners so it's nice and even and nice and plump and repeat with the little star. You can use a pair of scissors to push in the stuff in a little bit more. I'm going to just uh, sew up the gap so the stuffing doesn't come out for the head. Do the same with the star. Let's fold around to the back with the skirt, line it up at about 5mm and straight stitch it together. Mine was a little bit longer on one side so I'll take that bit off with the pink and cheese later. So just to get a feel of how it sits, push it down and you should have the two slits in the top. Then we're going to take the pipe cleaner arms and put them in the two slits that you have cut ready. so they don't fall out when in use, tucking your thread in at the end. Here I'm wondering when I should have left the gap open so I could stick the head inside but I ended up just stitching the head to the top of the neck which did hide the mouth a bit as you'll see in the end because the ribbon has to go around with the button on as well so anyway let me know what you think in the comments below with the button and ribbon i created the bow first and stitched the button on top of the bow and then i'm going to attach that to the fairy I'm making sure I go through the two holes in the button. Here I took out the cardboard insert just to make sure it's nice and secure. I used a bit of uh, masking tape to stick it down. So hopefully it won't come out and will last a bit longer. Here I'm going to stitch the little star to her hand and then she can hold her little star forever more. done what a pretty girl she is with a little star I'm shame you can't quite see her mouth because of the star but the details are quite nice I like it one eye's a bit bigger than the other but the star looks happy and um, I did have to trim the cardboard a little bit because it was sticking out and I did use a bit of tape to stick the belt to the cardboard so it didn't move when it was on the tree. They look great. 